Rumors show that the iPad 5 could bring Touch ID services as well. CyanogenMod goes corporate as the company continues growing, and BlackBerry is full of a lot of good and a lot of terrible lately. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you know, I might just plan a contest to see who wins in pronouncing my name right. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the surprising news. We've been hearing rumors of NVIDIA building an Android tablet for the longest time, but we finally get a tablet, uh, even though they're actually dubbing it more of a platform, even though this is still Android. The whole concept that NVIDIA wants to sell you is that this is now the new Tegra Note platform, and they plan to offer it to many OEMs, which there are like a ton of Chinese OEMs right there, which will sell this platform. And the whole idea is, again, running Android, and it's got stylus support, though we don't know if that's going to really compete with the Galaxy Note platform in any way. So anyways, links in the description for the full details and specifications of the first tablet, and let's see how well this competes as nobody has really wanted to get that Tegra 4 on their current tablets or phones. Now let's talk about Google and more specifically YouTube as the company creators have now been teasing a new service that they plan to bring by the end of the year. This is specific to the YouTube application for mobile devices and will allow you to download videos to it and keep them for further reference on your device, meaning you won't need an internet connection. And that's really awesome. I mean, there are times when you're flying or commuting and you lose your internet connection and there are YouTube videos like the Pocket Now Daily that you'd like to watch. Yeah, uh, well, the plan is that they plan to bring this by the end of the year. Obviously, we're not sure if it'll reach every other platform like Windows Phone, so stay tuned for that. And for those of us fans of CyanogenMod, because yeah, that includes me big time, well, the service just grew up. It's now a company. It's now CyanogenMod Inc. These people just moved into an office. They have secured funding, and they plan to actually make this service better than ever. The whole idea is that they're going to make the service streamlined, easy. They're going to build an application for the Google Play Store that will allow you to install the ROM as easy as installing any other application, which is great. Obviously, we don't have a timeline for this, but it is great to see CyanogenMod grow grow up because it is worth it. I mean, I wonder when we'll have a phone that will launch with CyanogenMod. That would be awesome. And I've been dreading talking about BlackBerry, but I have to because there are some good and bad news here. On the good side, well, the BlackBerry Z30 was announced, which is a, pretty much a Z10, probably on a bigger chassis. It's a 5-inch display. Lots of better specifications, though. It's kind of interesting. Links down below for the full description of the phone. And yes, for those of you waiting for BBM on iOS and Android, well, Android gets it on Saturday. iOS gets it on Sunday. Day, so stay tuned for that. Let's see how that goes. But then again, on the negative side, the company is now confirming that they will have to downsize as much as 40% of their workforce because obviously BlackBerry 10 wasn't as big as they expected. So it begs to wonder, you know, it's really sad to hear this. I just wonder if they're going to get rid of Alicia Keys first. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you that have been waiting almost three months to get iOS 7 on your compatible device can do it now to a certain degree. As well, the servers are completely slammed. It's going crazy. I have a ton of friends that have issues installing, activating their iPhones. It is just pandemonium right now, so just be patient. You can get it soon. Uh, leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think of iOS 7 so far that you've been testing it. And aside from that, it seems that Apple will grow up the iPad 5 to be more than a slimmer iPad. Apparently Apparently, Touch ID is also making it to this device as we've got some first leaks of the fingerprint scanner on the Hope button coming to the iPad as well. So, you know, that leads me to the question of the day. How big is Touch ID for you now that you've seen it for the iPhone 5S? I mean, is it really a service that's so compelling to you that it would make you buy an iPhone or a new iPad, for example? In my particular case, honestly, that is the only reason why I'm getting an iPhone 5S. The only reason. I am big on passwords, and that would save me a ton of time. But obviously, my case scenario is different to yours. So leave us a comment down below. Why would you get an iPhone 5S? Is Touch ID a reason? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top of the world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.